Welcome to a video many, many months in the making. Continue watching to see how I turned this Katsura nursery stock tree into this bonsai. So I finally did it guys. I got myself a, a Katsura tree. So the first time I went to Devon Bonsai Nursery, um, I saw a Katsura tree, I'll put a picture here, um, in its autumn colors, beautiful heart-shaped leaves, all red and yellow and goldy kind of colors. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, right, I need one of those. So I looked for one that was a bit bigger and they were about 50 pounds, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, they're about 50 quid. 20 pounds and I was like okay that's actually more affordable um, I'm absolutely chuffed about it it comes with a funny story so hang on in there this tree I'll put a picture here it was actually quite big I thought this there's no way I'm gonna fit this in the car I don't need it all anyway so I went and found um, a member of staff at the garden center but I found a tree that I'm gonna buy but I have no need for the top half of it and she looked at me completely dazed and confused she me, you're gonna do something like bonsai with it aren't you and I was like yes I am Yes, I, am. I don't know what other pictures I've got, I can't remember, but I'll, I'll put them up now. I did not want to do anything to this tree until I saw you guys, so I could talk to you guys and, and, and tell you all about it. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted this tree, why I like it. Um, and now we're just going to have a bit of a play around with it, have a look at this trunk. Obviously we can't do any repotting, I'm not going to cut any roots, but I just want to have a look at the base, dig underneath a little bit. Um, and then we'll do some sort of branch selection and a little bit of trimming maybe. So we've kind of, we've missed our opportunity for this year anyway for repotting, um, but I do want to just dig away. So we're just, just getting down really, having a look at this base, figuring out what kind of roots we've got to work with. So I'm quite happy with the roots um, down at the base here. Um, obviously I'll wait till next spring to do anything further, but it just gives me a nice idea of what, what to look forward to, you know? Right, let's have a look at the branches. Right, so here she is. Um, I made the chop up here and there's just, there is a lot going on. There is, there is an awful lot. Lots of healthy stuff, um, lots of new shoots and therefore new options. So I'm gonna pop a picture alongside, probably like here somewhere, of uh, the branch structure of the Katsura at Devon Bonsai that I fell in love with um, all that time ago. And if you look at that tree, it's got a very similar sort of base here. It doesn't have these lateral roots at the front, um, these roots at the front, but it does have a very similar root that way and i think in time we could re replicate this to look like that tree um so we've got first branch here it's not in exactly the same place but i think with some wiring we could get it to twist around to the side a little bit better and that could be first branch um and then we might have to make do with this thicker one I, i'm not sure i'm not sure yet what to do with the second branch but i know that we're not going to need all of this so the fact that it can be air layered um, to me means I need to do, I've marked here as where I need to do an air layering. Uh, they're not very successful from cuttings, so I've read. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be our new leader, this one here. So anyway, that's an update on this one. I'm not sure if I'll get around to it today, but it doesn't matter to you guys because it'll all be in the same video. out in about 10 weeks time we'll have a look see if we've got roots coming out uh so i guess i'll see you then guys six months later so i've just taken the <clears throat> just went to check the earlier in uh, october now and i remembered i'm actually making a video about this aren't i you know that of course because you're watching it so this is kind of what's happened over the summer 
kind of just calloused over and healed itself. Um, I, of course, I'm disappointed, um, but I have got the rest of the tree to work with. So what I'm going to do, because it's now coming into the autumn and I haven't really got anything to lose, I'm just going to recut this bottom surface and see if that does anything. And then we'll check it again in the spring. So there we are, repacked for the winter. I suppose we'll see what happens, eh? So before we get into combing the roots out, I'm going to use the bonsai cornwall little Japanese saw, courtesy of AB. Thank you very much, mate. First time using this, right? Let's get let's get rid of the uh, air layer fail. So again, careful not to rub that this bud off down here. Probably will at some point. You can kind of see the natural die back is about here. So I'm going to go just above that. First time using this saw. Oh wow, it's sharp. I actually want to be going more like a diagonal. You really don't have to put any pressure on it actually, you just let the... Those teeth are so sharp. Just let the saw do the work instead, look. Um, there we go. So that is what could have been a nice air layer. Gone. But hey, never mind. Look at that, it's a bit more manageable now, isn't it? So moving on to our roots now. I want to be really careful with this. Um, I've been staring at this, like I said, for so long now. Um, finally the day has come where I get to investigate and see what's actually underneath this. So there's nothing that you haven't seen before on the channel. I'm just going to very slowly, radially, that's the word. Came out the roots. I'll talk with you in a minute. So I'm quite I'm at a stage now where I'm happy with the depth, I think. It's just quickly. I could go a little bit lower than that. But I'm pretty happy with that depth. It doesn't really allow for much growing room. So I think I want to reduce this further. Um, what I've done is I've raked out as much as I kind of can, as much as I can see. Um, but I'm still not quite happy with the, the depth and the level. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wash these roots. It's not something that I usually do, to be honest. Um, but in this case, I'm going to wash the roots because there's so much fine fibrous roots that uh, I'm confident this tree will survive. Look how much energy it's got and um, there's so much compost and not field tool because it's not field tool, it's nursery uh, compost which is good um, but I want to try and get rid of as most of it as I can so I think I'm going to wash the roots. I'm just going to do this a whole bunch and it's going to free up some of those pockets where there was lots of that composty soil before because basically you can do this and you'll see it starts to reveal there we go see I can see a lot more of these roots now and figure out exactly what I want to do next so what I'm doing now is with an old pair of secateurs and my sort of worst pair of bonsai scissors just cutting away the edge roots the circling roots 
um, so I can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. And the thicker ones can come in with the secateurs because then sort of like the base it gives me a better um, idea of what to do. So yeah, I'm starting to get somewhere now, hey. So now we're getting closer to the center where I want to really try and protect these roots. Moving away from the pretty heavy handed uh, tri-pronged root rake. So now I've got the single root rake. So the difference with this one is, is where you see a big bulky mat of composty crap in and I can start to wiggle. It is more gentle than that but not as gentle as this which is a clay sculpting tool that then when I get close in I'll then start to use both edges of this and clear out that inner soil. So this will be quite a timely process so I'll see you in a minute. There we are ladies and gents, that is the journey of this fantastic Katsura bonsai. What a brilliant start for this tree, I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is now a couple of months on from that initial repot and the tree's doing really really well. Let's have a closer look. So the sphagnum moss did its job, protected those roots, these rocks were just kind of holding that sphagnum in place. Leafed out lovely and our sort of sacrificial leader doing well up there. Um, I'm actually, I'll be truthful, I'm refilming this part because um, when I filmed it the first time, my microphone cut out. So here you are, you get a more <laughs> updated version and you get to see the tree in leaf, which is really cool, I think. Like I said, this video has taken me months and months to make and really tried my patience at times. So with that, if you'd like to support me or the channel, please go into the description below and find the links to our Amazon wish list there you can get stuff to help me with repotting and to get tools that I don't yet have other than that I hope you enjoyed the video please leave me a comment a like and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel wherever you are in the world make sure you're taking care of yourself I'll see you in the next one bye bye guys Nice.